What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. We're Sister Cypher. I'm Akira. I'm Joelle. And for those who haven't joined our channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. And for those that are going to be watching this on Instagram, because it will be posted, we have some exciting news. Well, because we're wearing these incognito. No, for real. It's like an optical illusion, but... Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. It hurts. Surprise! <laughs> again. Oh, again. Oh, 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 oh. So, um, how do we get started on the story? Look we didn't plan it. <laughs> that's number one question. I think that's so gross. Like, we wouldn't plan that. Like, I know girls have pregnancy packs, but, like, that would really lead up to the men having a conversation about that. Not for nothing, because you can't time when magic happens on a schedule um, like that wow, wow. jiggy jiggy so we want to talk about our pregnancy story because we think it's so unique and so special the way it's happening this time around because we are pregnant together for our second round for the second time so let's go backwards and explain what that means <laughs> seriously so it all started when Joel got pregnant first with her second, second child. child okay so this baby will be her third child and this baby will be my second child let me not confuse them with that okay so <laughs> it all started when joelle was pregnant with her second child okay and then we figured out that i was pregnant as well with my first child mm -hmm. okay so when we found out we were pregnant which was literally our last pregnancy two years ago <laughs> two years ago um we were three months apart in our pregnancies two makes two makes four exactly so straight mouth yeah so <laughs> her so, so her <laughs> her baby was delivered first before mine three months three months before, before mine so i had had my first child two years ago she had her second child two years ago now two years later she is having her third baby and i'm having my second baby okay are you following follow the bounce yeah. okay so now in this pregnancy two years later we are now week apart four days apart four days to be so exact. how do you go from being three months apart at the same time to now four days apart at the same time Mind you, we're seven years apart. apart. Do that math. Guess who's older? Comment below. <laughs> yeah, girl, I look good. I think I look good. Okay, so, <laughs> and we're not like teen moms either. Don't think this bitch is no, like 20 years old. I'm a whole grown woman. And I'm like 10 years old. This ain't, ain't, ain't that type of story. We ain't, we ain't, uh, MTV cannot fund us, okay, or sponsor us. Which sure they can. We'd be on OGs. <laughs> you'd be on OG. I'd be on Team on Two, and you'd be on OG for real. The discovery to finding out this pregnancy oh was quite interesting. I don't want to say that it was the same as the first time, but it was actually funny because kind of, it feels like it was kind of like reverse. So when she was pregnant, okay, first, okay, she forced me to take pregnancy tests, and I was in total, total, total denial. That her and I was like. I was like, you're pregnant. She felt all my vibes, all my emotions. Like, things were weird. Things were heightened. Sometimes. Things were scattered. These were cravings. Not right when you ate a whole plate of food. Which is something I would normally do, mind you. She knows But it that, was like but. a bet for $20 that she couldn't finish. I just needed the money. The plane. I mean, that's a lot. <laughs> she told me to take a pregnancy test, and I did. The first time I did it, it wasn't positive. So I was like, girl, please don't waste my time. Don't get my emotions all hyped up. So then... It was true and then I was in like total shock like to see a plus sign on a pregnancy test is like literally like the whole like Girl, if you're a your new whole mom life just yeah like if, change. You, if you're a new mom it just feels like wow like there's something inside of me like God really did this like like there's like I can't smoke weed no more <laughs> okay and this round okay currently two years later round two 
Everything is very different. My signs were very different. It all started with Wendy's and a hamburger. Okay, and I thought I got food poisoning. It was just like, whatever. That's morning how, sickness. That's how it was with my first child, believe it or not. Okay. I went to Wendy's and I got a salad. Like, rejecting Wendy's. everything for like four days. And I was like, there's no way it's food poisoning because it would have been out of my system in four days. She was acting weird too because she was just acting funny. And she was vegan at the time. Off I was balance, like, oh. But I'm so clean girl. I ain't gonna know period. That's how clean I am. Okay, my inside outside everything clean 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 spiritual Clean that wound. Clean that wound to, to, yeah, to, literally. to load it up like straight up shot up the club that was totally empty <laughs> In the movie theater. Yeah. Just like just take part in this test well. Wait, wait, wait So I had gotten a new phone on top of that. Isn't that why it said I was late like 96 days I was like, oh hell no <laughs> I was like, something's not right. Okay, but like, I'm in a new environment. I was like, maybe I'm just syncing up differently with these girls. You know, maybe I'm just delayed. I'm gonna wait. And I, I swear to God, I was gonna wait. I'm delivered. And mind you, we had gotten signs. All the readings I was hearing, all that I kept saying, oh, you're gonna have a baby in 2020. Your, your mother nature, your womb, everything was like that. And I was like, mm, no girl, I got things going on in 2020. So mm -hmm. a baby wasn't on that list at the time. But Akira didn't force me and she tricked me. I have to take a pregnancy test, so do you. The first time I took it, it was definitely positive. And then I was like, okay, so I'm gonna take it again the next day and the next day you're gonna take it with me. Double confirm, I did that with my first child, so I want to do that with the second child just to make sure. <laughs> the lady at the counter that gave me the freaking pregnancy test thought that she was pregnant too with her daughter. Everyone, something is weird signs. So the first time she forced me to take it, I was in denial. I don't want to take it. And I took it. Then the second time, she was in denial. She didn't want to take it. I forced her to take it. I had the video. Okay. God was so good at this. Because what happened was when I first took mine, okay, earlier that day, it was like instant, like that you're pregnant, like immediate, like boop, plus sign. Okay. For her, <laughs> for tricks. her, this is Trick what happened. She peed on the stick. Okay. She walked out the room and the line was slowly going it caution was going. this is a dollar tree you know it wasn't faulty because i took three and that shit was it's going so right. slow why is it going so slow any true i was like it's definitely negative so i'm just gonna walk away that's how so so she pretty much took it and it was like one line going slowly and it was just like one line and she walked out and she's like bitch i'm not pregnant like come on like i'm not pregnant and i saw the second one You know she's pregnant like so let's go ahead and just make the second line right i'm like laughing i'm looking at this pregnancy so i'm like <laughs> so i didn't tell her that it said the line was lined up i was just like hey. i was just like i was like joel come come look like I'm i like, just want her to feel comfortable <laughs> it's negative so here she comes walking and this is her expression after she's like it's negative <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're having a baby this is so exciting i was so excited i was like oh my god we're about to have a baby again together, together. together. wild and man. when we found out that we were four days apart i was like what the yeah exactly what the how the okay. hell does that happen bro and mind <sighs> you this is the second time so it's not even like this is the first time it's happening it's like back to back pregnancies and like how out and how do you get a year yeah, how do you get a gap the same like time? that amount and everything right. well this think? is her last y'all just to let y'all know so enjoy these beautiful pictures Ooh, because this is about Lord, to see Lord, 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 Lord. <laughs> jesus is king like kanye said so we need to shut it down Real. i can't be janet like i don't know i don't i can't be janet can't be kenya you no know, portia like janet, i don't know i don't, I don't know. know i don't know now everyone has to reveal to their family sooner or later than they're pregnant the last time we were pregnant it was okay it was a little light i don't remember too much I mean, that's a good thing but this time it's like labor you chose not to remember yeah this time my mom was like wait what you too 
<laughs> this time was a whole nother ball game. Uh, our parents, our parents, our family, they were pretty shocked. They thought we were pranking them. They yes, thought it was a game. They, kept, they thought I was like April Fool. Because I waited how long after you? Like two weeks? She waited. Like I got my, yeah, she made the appointment yeah. two weeks after mine. I got my results in. I, I confirmed that 10 weeks. Right? Yes. Yeah. Lo and behold, we had the little babies, the little ultrasound. The baby. And then her, she was in denial because she was like, I don't feel anything. I feel like a serial killer. I'm like, but that's how you felt the last time you were pregnant, like a serial killer. <laughs> I felt fine. Like, so, nothing's wrong. I'm not throwing up. Meanwhile, you're dying over there. Like, <laughs> yeah, my pregnancy has been so crazy. Like, we're going to give you guys all these updates on our pregnancies mm -hmm. because we didn't really get to interact or engage with other women about our journey last time and we did like a lot of fun things that now that we are coming into our business with sister cypher we want you guys to share this experience with us because it's really once in a lifetime like i don't think you guys have even met many people four days two sisters that are I, seven years apart and back to back like at the same time and people think that we're like twins, twins. and we're not twins no. but it's like we're having twins like our kids yeah, our girls when they came out they're literally like twins okay like they operate like twins people when we go out they think they, they have they triplets twins, and yeah. twins and stuff and now these babies are gonna be twins literally i think we're gonna give birth at the same time who's gonna be the octomom you want to admit to them being all your children i don't want to it's yeah too old because i pretty <laughs> much i pretty much uh watch them and i'm like the auntie that's like super active with them i'm like india love with all the damn I'm kids old. i'm an auntie for real for real mm -hmm. you're still young young she just sits back and just chills and just lets me do all the reprimanding i got three kids what you want i'm the wait i seen a meme i seen a meme and on all instagram hers, and i think it's crazy because all of hers end up still being older like her as the older sister all her kids are older so i think that's nice too that still gives you like like, I think that's cool in a way. You know what I mean? Like, you're the older sister. Like, all your kids are first still. They're still older than mine. I guess. Not by far, but they're still yeah. ahead of mine. You know what I mean? True. I, I honor being the little one sister. I had the meme. I saw a meme today that says, I'm the sister with all the kids. That's me. <laughs> no, but I'm not damn. getting a van, so get the hell over yeah, that. Yeah, so we okay, need a damn suburban. That. We need a damn I say Escalade. we get the Sprinter, dog. The Sprinter. Yeah, like, I'm trying to drive in a Mercedes, okay? If it's I'm going to have nice. some kind of bus van situation, it needs to be like that. Or like a, um, what's that thing that um, Tyrese travels in? Like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I would like that mm -hmm. also. Yeah, Voltron, I whatever he mm -hmm. calls his thing, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Baller. <laughs> I do know that we have a special video for you guys also that we're going to be yes. posting on our first wives' tale because. First wives' tale, not handsmaid's tale. Yes. Not sister some of wives' you guys, tale. Some of you guys don't know what wives' tale is, so let's just. Old like, wives' like, tales. Old wives' why, why, blah, 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 your dad. Blah, 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 your dad. Let's break that down. Old wives' tale is where you do these yes. games, like in little tests to figure out what the sex of the baby is. You can look it up on Google, Safari, Chrome, fucking Mozilla, Firefox. Ask Jeeves. Okay, Ask Siri. I don't know. I think so. <laughs> but <laughs> dictionary.com, okay. Urban Dictionary. Mm -hmm. All the I'm Spanish sure. people in the freaking market, okay, on the bodega. In the bodega. Okay. But all I know is that these have always been accurate for us. We did them last pregnancy and first pregnancy. We've always done them, okay? Mm -hmm. It's so fun. It's really fun. It's really fun. And there's, like, so many things. They got the ring test. They got the fork and knife test, Dream. which a lot of people don't freaking know about. How y'all not know about the fork I and knife? I heard that it's, like, a, a Latin thing. Whatever. We part Latin. Anyways, we Portuguese. So, listen. Um, we have a video on that because that one's so much fun. That one was super fun. So everyone also, we want you to know that just because you're watching this video, those that do know us, don't think you're telling us what we're having because even because if we don't know, you don't know. Hmm. Let me tell you, as a mother, there's nothing more, and a pregnant woman, there's nothing more annoying than people telling you Maybe what you're right. having. Yeah, let me not go into that. We'll save that for another video, guys.
Check her IG story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we're gonna be posting a lot of podcasts um, for you guys. Well, we're gonna be posting on our podcast um, some episodes on our journey, and we just think that's a nice, fresh start for us to just give you guys our experience. It's gonna be so much yes, fun. Yes, check out so our YouTube tips. channel. Like, comment, subscribe, girl. Boy. We've had a couple conversations about being a mother and how it's spiritually and emotionally a whole journey. Yeah, it involves you. And it does, and we just feel like there's so many things that you can do to, you know, feel better about yourself, you know, and feel more positive about when it comes to pregnancy. We want to do more workout videos, twerk out videos with y'all when we're pregnant, things, not just the baby mama dance. Things to take care of yourself, because yes, you're mm -hmm. a mother, yes, you have to take care of children, but just like when you're on the airplane, what do they tell you to do first? Put the mask on yourself first, then the child, because if you're dead, your child's dead. So that's the kind of mentality you have to have. You gotta preserve, mm -hmm. preserve the whole vessel so your children can be shining bright like a diamond. Okay, a reflection. Mm -hmm. you your man's gonna so want to, want you to take care of him like a fucking baby, and you got to be a real to... baby, <laughs> <laughs> and and your other babies, and then you're gonna want to cry like a baby. So the best thing to do is learn how to. To gain some skills to just cope with it all because mm -hmm. it can be done women rule the world and we literally we're very like the most everybody. powerful creatures in the so world so it's doable mm -hmm. you just have to learn and just woosah take a deep breath everything will be fine all our twitter at sister cypher okay we're gonna be on sister cypher instagram youtube podcast we're trying anchor. to get anchor which just distributes i, I mean streams to Pod, itunes yeah itunes and, all and that. um soundcloud all that stuff so we're I gonna have spotify too spotify too yeah we're gonna have all of our our stuff there for you guys okay it's gonna be so much fun and more stuff in tune for you guys doing some little pregnancy baby mama haul and we have merch on www.sistercypher.com check out our spiritual teas i'm sure we'll upload some blog uh information mommy yeah. blog mommy blog some tips and tricks uh self-help things for mommy pampering mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it should be great it's a lovely time for mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. please join us always take care of yourself and we just want to help you beautiful women out there that are mothers and are on a new pregnancy journey or a trying to get pregnant sure or another yeah because pregnancy. your mind got to be right before you do it you know exactly. what i'm saying that's my number one advice for everybody. we do believe that this pregnancy was immaculate conception by jesus just like mary and joseph but because <laughs> it wasn't planned yeah because nobody does that that's weird girl like, what you think we're, like, in the same room? Like, that's some weird stuff. Like, who does that? If you want to say, like, pregnancy pack, that's, like, one thing. But Even like, that is weird. I'm sorry. I, I know some people that have like, friends that wanted to do that, though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and <laughs> summoning all of you up. You guys are trying to join us. This is good. <laughs> Have with these magical babies are really bringing out the demons out of all y'all so i'm just telling <laughs> scorpio you. season thank you guys for joining Bye. us we love you so much 